Hello and welcome back to Whitney Alex Works recap of Bachelor in Paradise Season 8, Episode 6 and 7, Week 4. Before we begin, please like and subscribe here at Whitney Alex Works for more recap videos just like this one. Alright, let's dive into Week 4 of Bachelor in Paradise. We begin episode 6 with the aftermath of Romeo leaving with Dr. Kira and as a reminder the women still have the power of the roses as there is a major gap between the remaining women and men. There are 7 women to the 12 men and things aren't looking good for the whole lot. We get an update on Michael who is post Sierra and realizes that he may be on the chopping block for this upcoming rose ceremony. But then he tells the bartender Wells that he wants to stay and try to continue to find love. The only problem is that basically every woman on the beach is coupled up and those without a love interest know the end is probably near. We get another town meeting where we say goodbye to Jared and Ashley as their time on the beach was reported as successful as they were able to reconnect and share some insight with the remaining contestants. But with the upcoming rose ceremony, the competition for the roses just got even more fierce as Sinead's love triangle is in full swing as she is trying to figure out whether she is into Logan or James more. Both Logan and James do their best to woo Sinead as James even sets up a shrimp tasting test for Sinead, hoping this is enough to get her rose. Meanwhile, Casey is hoping he can get Brittany's rose by pulling a hero move by telling Brittany about what pizza guy Peter has been saying behind her back, calling her a clout chaser and only being there for Instagram followers. Honestly, it sounds like projection. And when Casey tells Brittany about this, Brittany goes on the offense calling out Peter for what he has been saying. And Peter, realizing he's been caught in a lie, just doubles down on what he thinks of Brittany, and Brittany calls him out for being too into himself and how their date went bad. And then after some more bickering between these two, Aaron approaches Peter to hear him out, and then Jill comes over with Brittany and then Genevieve, all calling out Peter, asking him to leave because nobody is going to give him a rose. But all this heat and drama is really getting to Casey, as he starts to feel faint he then falls over and soon the medics are on their way apparently all the stress and drama got to casey as he felt overwhelmed and with him passing out the medical team takes him away from paradise and all of a sudden there are 11 guys remaining but with casey gone the drama with peter continues as jacob james and rodney head over to confront peter and when the men confront him about what he said about Brittany, peter finally sees the writing on the wall and is decides to self-eliminate, not before screaming more pizza stuff at everyone before he exits stage left and all of a sudden there are 10 guys left. Then we switch back over to Michael and his storyline as he is just hoping for a miracle at this point and then all of a sudden the production gods send him one. A woman heads down to the beach and it's Danielle Maltby from Nick Vial's season of The Bachelor and Michael is over the moon about her arrival. Apparently they knew each other through DMs and they finally get to meet each other in person. With Danielle, we've learned from this franchise that her fiancé passed away about 10 years ago to a drug overdose, so Michael and Danielle have a connection they share with both going through a terrible loss at a young age. But with introductions made between these two, suddenly it's time for the second rose ceremony. We begin the second rose ceremony with the notion that decisions about love triangles will finally be solved. And first up is Serene, obviously giving her rose to Brandon. Next, Jill gives her rose to Jacob. Then Lace gives her rose to Rodney. Genevieve gives hers to Aaron. And then Shanae is up and she chooses to give her rose to Logan. Finally deciding on her love triangle. Next, Victoria gives her rose to Johnny. Brittany then chooses to give her rose to Andrew. And lastly, Danielle gives her rose to Michael. Which means both Justin and James are headed home. Which is sad news for bro pals Aaron and James as Aaron is on his own in paradise without his best bud. And with the second rose ceremony in the history books, the power has shifted back again to the men. They have the power of the roses this week, which means the women are on the offensive. 
live. And really all the couples seem to be in a good place, but of course that can't last long. But first, a date card shows up in paradise and it goes to Danielle. She decides to choose Michael and the two head off together. We see Danielle and Michael as they literally go on the same date Peter and Brittany just went on last episode and join a date on a boat, relaxing and getting to know each other better. And really these two seem like a good match, but it seems Michael is still doubting a little bit. But when they get off the boat and sit down to talk further, the two deepen their connection, sharing their grief as both lost very important people in their lives at a young age. And they share their concerns about starting over with new relationships and really both are vulnerable as they are hopeful for the future. And then they share a kiss, solidifying themselves as a potential serious couple in paradise. Meanwhile, back at the beach, Jesse Palmer gathers the happy couples and tells them everything is about to change. The women have to pack their bags as they are going to leave the beach as a big twist is coming. Five women are arriving and this will change everything. Jacinia from Matt James's season and Bachelor in Paradise season 7, Lawrence from the Bachelor Australia franchise, as well as Kate, Sarah, and Eliza, all from Clayton's season, have arrived and they are going to spend the week with the remaining men while the other women apparently have to leave the beach. And really this sends most of the original women spiraling as most of the relationships are at risk as this whole situation is supposed to test every relationship in paradise. Paradise. And with the OG women upset and crying, we see that they have every right to be concerned as it seems there are already some connections being made. Rodney likes Eliza and Jacob is interested in Sarah and so too is Logan. And the men start to justify starting new connections as this is paradise and they have the roses this week. Episode 7 begins with some fun new introductions. Aaron apparently had to shoot a new introduction because his best friend James was sent home. And then the new women all get a group intro, looking over at the same time, which cracked me up. And really, with the beginning of this episode, the issue is the new women who have arrived to see if the men on the beach are secure in their original relationships, or are they interested in pursuing a new relationship? And really, the competition is fierce as Kate from Clayton's season is making moves on Jacob and they are already making out in the pool. And of course, we see Jill who is upset and just having a feeling that her man Jacob is making out with another woman and she is not wrong. Also, Lace may be in trouble when we see Rodney and newcomer Eliza connecting and they are already kissing. And soon, Michael and Danielle who have this franchise version of a fast pass come back to the beach and are surprised to see a complete overhaul of all the women meanwhile the original women are still upset as they are bummed out that they had to leave the beach but there's another twist coming for the og women jesse palmer arrives and announces that they too are going to have an opportunity to pursue other men and just like that five new men arrive Alex from Rachel's 2017 season of The Bachelorette, Rick and Olu from Michelle's season, Tyler from Gabby and Rachel's season, and lastly, Adam from The Bachelorette Australia franchise. And I have to admit, I'm loving the international contestants, and it makes me want to watch the next season of The Bachelor Australia. And with this new twist, the women all of a sudden go from sad to happy and the OG women have their own pool party with the new men. And very interestingly, we already have a potential switch. Brittany, who's been connecting with Andrew, starts to catch some feelings for Tyler and they end up kissing each other. Meanwhile, Andrew is having a hard time wanting to move on from Brittany as Jacinia is hoping to connect with Andrew, but who is thinking of trying out a new relationship is Logan, who is connecting with Sarah, and they end up making out in the ocean. But don't feel bad for Shanae as she soon gets a date card. This will be her third date, by the way, and she chooses Tyler to go on it. Tyler happily says yes, but this leaves Brittany a little bummed as she was feeling things for Tyler 
And then we switch back to the beach where, again, Kate and Jacob are going hard for each other. But Kate admits that she's just trying to get a rose to advance through this rose ceremony. So the joke is on Jacob, but I don't think Jacob is complaining as it takes two to tango. We also see that there are some couples who really do miss each other, that being Brandon and Serene, Aaron and Genevieve, and Johnny and Victoria, as those couples seem to want to stay together despite this temptation week. Next, we see Tyler and Shanae's date, where they do some sensual tantric yoga, of course in an effort to get close quickly, and Shanae is feeling the feels, and they end up kissing each other. Then we switch to how Logan is doing, and he admits he is confused as he doesn't know how to feel about Shanae, but he does see potential with Sarah, who suddenly gets a date card and asks Logan to go on it with her. He says yes, and the two head off together. We switch between dates with Shanae and Tyler and Logan and Sarah, and Shanae makes it known to Tyler that she really just wants to explore things in paradise. And with Logan and Sarah, they end up horseback riding and enjoying a picnic on the beach. And Logan tells Sarah that he is figuring his feelings out, but he is interested in Sarah, and they end up making out in the ocean a second time. We also see what is happening with the OG women. A lot of them are sad and defeated, and they don't want to engage with the new five men, which makes both Rick and Olu sad. But back at the beach, it seems Jasenia is trying to get Andrew to open up with her, and she invites him to a little pizza dinner date where Andrew admits he is guarded and shares that he doesn't know what to do. But Jasenia opens up and shares that she really likes Andrew, and then they end up sharing a kiss. Okay, so after this, we switch back over to Shanae and Tyler, and no joke, Shanae, after doing some tantric yoga with Tyler, is all of a sudden ready to go to the Boom Boom Room just after one date, and she has it all set up and everything, but then all of a sudden, our girl Jill and her crystals show up and kills the mood as she just vents about Jacob and how he probably isn't going to be available when they go back to to the beach but by venting for a prolonged period of time Shanae and Tyler feel drained and end up going their separate ways seriously love Jill she is so fun as a contestant she is wild and always cracks me up Switching back to the beach, we catch up with Rodney and Eliza as Rodney gets another date card and this time he picks Eliza. On their date, they are connecting and seem really into each other, which of course isn't good news for Lace, who is so upset and is just wondering if there is a chance with Rodney still. And really, the answer is probably no, as we see that Rodney and Eliza are already talking about traveling Europe together, as Eliza is originally from Germany, and she can't wait to introduce her brother to Rodney, and they are both really smitten with each other. And Rodney tells Eliza that he has high hopes for her, and he wants to leave Paradise in a relationship. They share a kiss, and it seems something beautiful is blossoming between these two, but that bliss is about to get a rude awakening as Lace is seen getting ready and she has had enough of waiting around and she wants to see Rodney. Lace decides to return to the beach as she just has to know if her feelings for Rodney could be reciprocated and when she returns to the beach, it's tense as all the men know the truth as Lace asks them, you know, where's Rodney? But the men counsel are tight-lipped and Lace is informed that Rodney is on a date so he is isn't here right now and when Rodney and Eliza come back from their date they come down the stairs holding hands but Lay sees this and she is about to spiral she confronts Rodney asking to talk to him and with that we are left on an ominous cliffhanger wondering what will happen next as Lace is about to implode and with that, that's it for week four of Bachelor in Paradise season eight, where the big split has caused some big changes in paradise. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe at Whitney Alex Works for more recap videos in the future. And see you next week for week five of Bachelor in Paradise, where the drama is about to get pretty brutal as the OG women return to the beach and things do not look pretty.